welcome back to the video. Today I'm going to share my everyday makeup routine. So I was going to film this video last week um, and I'm so sorry I missed Friday's posting. I walked into a tree last week, literally the most stupid thing ever. I wasn't even looking at my phone, I was just walking the dog and there was this like path where I always walk. I guess a branch fell off the tree, it like hit my face but like really bad. I think I had a little slight concussion for 24 hours. I don't know if you can still see this scar here and it was like bruised. So filming a makeup routine video was not really the most ideal. I didn't want to put makeup on it. But yeah, we're going to do today. I have my cute little gelato PK thing on. Uh, I got a couple of new products actually because like a couple weeks ago my suitcase was lost while I was traveling. It was stuck in Amsterdam Amper. So I had to purchase a couple new items while I was here, which I didn't mind because the airline paid for it. <laughs> Who doesn't love free makeup? Uh, but yeah, one of the first products I actually, I haven't used it yet. It is the new Ilya C Beyond Triple Serum SPF 40. And it's actually a new product they launched. It is a serum with SPF with vitamin C. So it actually has functionality. I believe this one doesn't really have coverage, but it will be a really nice serum to kind of prep the skin. I always love using serums because it's kind of like hydrates a little. And the fact that this has SPF. So now the weather is kind of getting a little warmer. I'm by the way so excited for summer. I wish I didn't, you know, didn't put like foundation and stuff on, but I have been really struggling with melasma this year and I don't know, I'm just like so bothered by it. I, I'm using a really good camera, so like the lighting actually really helps, but in real, the darker spots really come out. I wear hats every day. I wear so much sunscreen when I go out but it might be just like a hormonal thing. I'm actually really excited because I'm going to try this facial next week, which I think incorporates a little bit of laser. I know it's really tricky with melasma to do with laser because the skin is very sensitive, but I've tried so many things. I don't know, I just feel a little bit desperate with it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna try it with a professional. I will make a video about this as well because obviously if this is working, I know that a lot of people struggle from this with like dark spots. The other day I was even on set and they put a lot of foundation on and on the screen, like when they were taking photos, I even saw the photographer walking up to the makeup like, hey, you know, there's something there, you need to adjust it. And the makeup was like, no, it's like the dark pigmentation really comes through. But yeah, okay, this serum, I really love it. It's very smooth on the skin. It kind of gives a little bit of a glowy look. It's a really nice skin prep. I like it. Go Ilya, it's actually a clean beauty brand. Another reason why I really love it. I wish I had their foundation at the moment too, but you know, lost suitcase. So I'm going to use the Forever Skin Glow from Dior. This is the color color 3N and 2N. I'm just going to mix them both a little. I have this MAC like foundation brush. Add this on. I feel it's really been a while since I shared a makeup video and I believe that probably the recent makeup videos I will use the same product over and over and over for years. I feel lately I have been more experimenting in different products so like switching up the blush and switching up mascaras and like different contouring and highlighter. I'm going to be honest I actually really enjoy it. I kind of like cleaned up my whole makeup cabinet. I feel like until a couple years ago I would never really wear makeup and I'm kind of embracing the feminine side in me there. Uh, I don't know, it's been like really fun. Okay, I have a little beauty blend there and I'm just blending everything in. Then for concealer, I'm also using Giorgio Armani. This is the 3.75 actually a little tip from a makeup artist to really sp kind of hide the pigmentation here recommended not to use like a beauty blender or something but just to use my fingertip right there so that's what i'm going to do underneath here just tapping my finger okay i'm going to add a little bit extra here and just tapping it with my finger 
Perfect. Then I'm going to use the Peach Perfect Too Faced Translucent Powder. I'm just adding a little underneath my eyes just to set it a little bit. I don't like to use too much powder because I love like the more glowy type of look. There we go. Brush up my brows with the Anastasia Brow Diviner. I'm actually thinking again to do kind of the brow lamination. I did it once and I really liked it. Well, the first days just looked a little crazy. I feel I just kind of had to get used to it. But after I really loved it because it was just, I don't know. When your brows are always like on fleek, it just feels really good. I don't know, it kind of gives me a little confidence. I'm just gonna fill in. And then I'm also using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I really love this. My brows stay up all day long. Okay, let's continue skin. I recently got this in the mail. It is Westman Atelier and it is this um, contour stick in the color Truffle. And I really like it. All the products that also came in like a blush and a highlighter were very creamy. And I just really love it because my skin soaks up anything. And I feel a lot of these kind of, I don't know, creamy blushes, creamy contours, it just like feels very dry. But this feels very nice and soft. There we go. And just blend it out. Also, my favorite makeup brushes are these purple ones and they are from the brand Cosette. I have had these for years, they are so good, they stay well forever, easy to clean and they brush really, really nicely. So if you're looking for new brushes, I really like these. I actually might get some other ones as well. Then I am using my Hola Benefit, this is the mini bronzer. I feel this is one of those products everyone should just have. It is literally the best. Um, I'm going to use it as like a little eyeshadow right now. We're gonna keep it like really simple, really easy. Just my everyday okay. So adding it into my crease and a little on the outside. Perfect. And then the big brush I'm taking a little and I go over it on my cheeks, a little bronzer. I kind of like to do a little bit bronzy makeup look cause I don't know, just getting in the summer spirits. I was literally just thinking in the shower to what my summer is going to look like. I really need to figure out some day. My best friend Daphne Grunefeld is getting married in July in Italy. So we're for sure going to go to Italy. But yeah, after I just kind of need to see. Okay. Another thing about the creams with blush, I feel I feel 80% of the cream blushes I try do not give a nice like pinkish or red like blush on my face. It just kind of disappears or dissolves. But recently I have been using this one from Laura Mercier. It is the Corsica Tinted Moisturizer Blush. It's like a cream and it is really beautiful and you only need like a tiny tiny bit and it works really really pretty i'm also putting a little on my nose i went a little overboard it's so hard to do makeup into my camera because i can't really see like how much i put on well cross fingers it's going to look all right Make my little sponge um i'm just blending a little up here but you can see how beautiful this color is and like how nicely it blends blending in a little I feel that's just a secret to really good makeup. Even if you're not good, as long as you blend well, you can get away with it. Then for the highlighter, I'm also going to use this one, the Benefit, the Mini. This is a Twinkle and has this really pretty highlighter. I don't know if you can see it here. Just adding on my cheeks, a little on my nose, a little on my lips. I'm also going to grab a little tinier brush and put this on the inside of my eye. I guess also because I travel so much and I don't want to drag like a really big makeup kit. I love like reusing products kind of, you know, for different areas. So the bronzer and this highlighter I'm using also as my eyeshadow. All right, then I'm using the 
Charlotte Tilbury liquid eye pencil. This is dark brown and I'm just going to exaggerate a little bit on my eye line here. There we go. My eye definitely feels a little bit more open. Okay, what's next? Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Lately, I have like one eyelash like sticking down and I just can't get it to curl up. So now I'm in this debate that I'm like, am I pulling this out or am I just going to leave it? I guess I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay, then I am going to use the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I love it, it has like a tiny thin brush. And I honestly just do my upper lashes. I'm just using a little brush and just go through it. Clean it up a little. Perfect. Lips. We're staying with the classic, my absolute favorite, Charlotte Tilbury. This is Pillow Talk. I'm just overlining a little. I don't really love like a lipstick type of look, so I'm going to use the Lila B, what is it, like a lip gloss, lip oil type of thing. Which I'm just kind of like rub my lips and just like let the lip liner solve a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then my last one for if you want an ultimate glowy look, you have to get this product. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It's been in my closet forever and I never tried it until like a couple months ago and it's my favorite part of the makeup right now. So it is illuminating powder in this direction. I take this like big brush. I'm just putting this on my cheek, on my nose, super pretty. And then here again on the side. I kind of go heavy with it. It depends. If I'm going out, I will put a lot or like want a really glowy look, but I really, really love it. This gives such a good glow and it really, really stays. So yeah, my everyday natural makeup routine is ready. This is it. Very quick, only takes me about 10, 15 minutes in the morning. If there are any products you are obsessed with and I need to know about, because I'm really getting into makeup now, let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe, put the notifications on. I really appreciate all the support. And I will see you in my next video. Love you.